thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Bunny Cakes, and welcome to my channel if you're new here. So today I am coming to you with a review for a book called If You Tell, A True Story of Murder, Family Secrets, and the Unbreakable Bond of Sisterhood by Greg Olson. I've been reading it on my Kindle, and yeah, you can't see it. That's okay. I will post a picture of it somewhere in here so you can see the, the actual cover. Um, so this book, it's a true crime book, it was really, really good. So the synopsis is, after more than a decade, when sisters Nikki, Sammy, and Tori Notek hear the word mom, it claws like an eagle's talons, triggering memories that have been their secret since childhood until now. For years, behind the closed doors of their farmhouse in Raymond, Washington, their sadistic mother, Shelley, subjected her girls to, an un to unimaginable abuse, degradation, torture, and psychic terrors. Through it all, Nikki, Sammy, and Tori developed a defiant bond that made them far less vulnerable than Shelley imagined. Even as others were drawn into their mother's dark and perverse web, the sisters found the strength and courage to escape an escalating nightmare that culminated in multiple murders. It's harrowing and heartrending if you tell as a survivor's story of absolute evil and the freedom and justice that Nikki, Sammy, and Tori risked their lives to fight for, sisters forever, victims no more, they found a light in the darkness that made them the resilient women they are today, loving, loved, and moving on. This book, there were some parts that were just so terribly hard to read. The abuse that this woman put her daughters through, her husband through, her friends through, people that she was supposed to care for, she she just tore them down. And she was the epitome of the truest evil that I think I've ever read before. Um, and I think probably the scariest part is that... It didn't happen that long ago. In fact, I think, if I remember right, it was the late 90s, early 2000s when she was finally arrested and put in prison. Um, so, for me, a lot of the true crime I read is older cases. So I can kind of brush under the rug why people didn't see these terrible things going on. Like, these girls, when they would go to school, they were on sports teams, like the track team and stuff, but they would wear long leggings and long sleeves under their uniforms so people couldn't see the bruises. They didn't bathe because she wouldn't let them. And they weren't eating well and so many other things. And some of it was able to happen because they lived out in the country, but they had neighbors and there were school officials. These girls didn't really miss school or anything. So it's it's kind of astounding that all of this happened and most of it happened the entire lives of the two older girls. And they grew up and moved out. And that's how they got rescued. And then the they finally rescued their younger sister as well. And um Shelley's husband was so so hard into denial like he was abused too like to the point where he's working so many jobs that he's working so hard that he's not coming home he's sleeping in a tent on his job site so that he can work more hours and also so he can be away from Shelly and he participates in a lot of the abuse that happens to the girls and their cousin and Shelly's friend and yet he's in such hard denial about it. And it's just insane. It was a really well-written book, though. It's written, unlike a lot of true crime stories that I've read, it, it reads more like a novel. And instead of just, like, listing the facts. And you can tell that Greg Olson also writes novels. Because it comes across written very much like that. Um, but definitely a great read. I do believe I gave it a 
five out of five stars on Goodread. Might have been a four out of five stars. Um, the end of it kind of wrapped up fairly quickly, though I imagine that frequently happens because there's not a lot you can get um, from the court case and the documents and stuff, so that part does kind of wrap up. I do like that he did go in and talk about how the girls are living now and their lives now, and he has actual interviews with them, and so it's their take. It's not just the facts from a bunch of case files. He actually reached out to the women, and you find out how they're living now, and they talk to him, and, um, and I, th I think he, he either did or he tried to speak with Shelly, and she didn't give much, and she's totally not admitting guilt to anything. She didn't do any of this. It's just exaggeration. It wasn't that bad. All that sort of thing that the, uh, the narcissistic abuser is classically prone to say after this sort of stuff. Um, and I, I just, it was so, it was hard to read, but it was, I couldn't put it down either. Um, I didn't want to read anymore because it was like traumatizing to read, but also I didn't want to stop reading because I wanted to know how it ended. How did she get caught? And, um, and all of that and what happened to her. It's it's an amazing book. I highly recommend it. Um, definitely, definitely among my top reads so far this year. Possibly for the rest of the year. I don't see something unseating this book easily for me. But yeah, highly recommend it. Really, really love it. And um, kudos to the author. It's actually made me want to read more of his work even some of his uh, fiction work, because if it's written anything like this, I'm going to be a total fan. I've actually bought another one of his books. It's not a true crime book. It's one of the fiction books. I haven't read it yet. It's on my TBR. Um, definitely looking forward to it. Um, but that's all I have to say about this book for right now. Um, if you want more of my opinion, if there's anything I didn't clarify here, um, I'm trying to do it without spoilers as much as possible. Um, if the if there's anything extra I can add, just ask me down in the comments below and I'll gladly clarify or add more and we can talk about it if you've read this book too. Um, but yeah, definitely epic read. Loved it. And thank you again for coming to my channel. Please, everyone, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Do your social distancing. Wear your masks. And stay safe. And um, have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.